On December 15th, the NRM highest organ, the Delegates Conference made a raft of changes to its constitution. Among them was the provisions to appoint a Secretary General. Under this rule, it was agreed that immediately the President appoints a new Secretary General, Mbabazi Shavakate Office. His leave ends tonight at midnight and he is expected to resume his duties one minute after midnight tonight. However, the Central Executive Committee has since then nominated Justin Kasure Rumomba as Secretary General and Richard Todong as her deputy. Benjamin Haripanga, who is believed to be Mbabazi's proxy, is protesting in the Constitutional Court. Severino Twinobu Sinje, Haripanga's lawyer, says the new rules can only be prospective, not retrospective. Retrospective legislation in the sense that you are passing a law, purportedly passing a law, to terminate the office of somebody whose term of office is still running up to September next year. So, either way, they have to keep law. I would advise them to move slowly. On the 27th this month, Mbaba stored a gathering in Kanungu district that is still a secretary general. The changes uh, that uh, are a result of number will take effect after some time. Hello. So until they take effect, of course, until I hand over. But the NRM party deputy spokesperson of Ono Pondo says Mbabazi is no longer Secretary General. We... Among Mbabazi has ceased being the NRM Secretary General. That new office bearers have been nominated and they are due for approval on Friday next week, 8th of January. Ono Mbabazi left the Secretary as the Secretariat in Shambles. I don't think he even has a date. He doesn't have a notice. The effect of the Gazette therefore took, took a different trend, that somebody has come out to challenge them and under the law they cannot assume that office anyway. I'm not aware that the Arepanga, he may be a Ugandan out there who is seeking attention. NRM has been served with this petition. As I speak to you now, I can say the NRM has not been served. With barely a few hours to the new year, 2015 is promising to be a year where politics will take a center stage as Zimbabwe seeks to upset the apple cart. Jingo Francis, NTV.